do people actually go a little crazy during a full moon or does the moon actually dictate what we do we've heard this for years or we've heard folklore for years like oh there must be a full moon out the crazies are coming out is there something about it that ignites our lizard brain and has us act in ways that we wouldn't normally or rationally act in. And this is something that has been explored over the years. Um, I have uh, one writing from Fraser Kane, who is not Fraser Crane, by the way, for Universe Today, in which he examined, you know, why people seem to go crazy during the moons. And he found, uh, essentially, there are no tidal effects on our behavior happening at all. Mm -hmm. That this is actually more just something maybe we are, the, the word confirmation bias comes up a little bit, which is you just want to hear what you want to hear, mm -hmm. essentially. And that if anything, perhaps the moon's light was affecting the way people slept. I have two stories, uh, published oh. in Frontiers in Pediatrics, which is another study on why uh, or how, if, if or how the moon affects us. So basically a few years ago, this uh, researcher found that at least from a tidal point of view, not so much. And then you know, here's a new study about lunar phases uh, and how they affect children's sleeping patterns. The second study that you're mentioning, which is the only one that I saw, um, is the one of how during the phases of the moon, how mm -hmm. it affects sleeping patterns in children. Not only sleeping patterns, but also physical activity, physical exertion, intensity of it. And basically a 1% alteration during a full moon, which again, by the scientist's own admission, is practically negligible. I mean, it's the, the clinical implication of sleeping five minutes more or less during a full moon doesn't mm -hmm. really have that much of an impact uh, because that was the difference. And it did say it have a pretty big sample size, 5,812 children from five continents uh, from a wide range of economic and sociocultural levels, mm -hmm. uh, different variables including age, sex, highest parental education, day of measurement, body mass index score, nocturnal sleep duration, level of physical activity, and total sedentary time were considered in this. So it does seem to at least check out from that point of mm -hmm. view that looks like the moon doesn't really affect you at all and that it, going back to what I said earlier, confirmation bias. So. We're not really lunatics. Who would know? Um, Luna, as in obviously by following the, the changes of the moon, but um, I, I, I think that one of the things that was very obvious was that it also didn't affect our energy, it didn't affect our levels, it didn't affect our intensity, our physical exertion, our activity during um, the different cycles and different phases. So it's one of those things that um, I think Sometimes studies are just there to disprove, or well, not disprove, I mean, but like prove that, you know, we, we don't have new information and well, new... going back to, I mean, when you think about the days before there was any kind of science literacy, uh, let's say like in the days of the Salem witch trials or even earlier, people would blame things on fairies or gremlins or what have you in, in a, as a way to explain something that wasn't exactly explainable at the time. So it could go to say that maybe we've held on to this notion that the moon is responsible for whatever erratic behaviors we might connect to it could be because the moon is a very persistent uh, standard that we have. We're, we're, it's always there. We're always able to see it and you may just be like, oh, blame it on the moon. It's the moon. You know, it could be as silly as that, going back to folklore. Uh, but from a scientific study basis, not so much. You may have to blame other reasons for why you'd be so crazy. Uh, I want to thank Christina Ochoa for stopping in this week and being our guest and educating me about fish and the coral <laughs> reef and so much more. Uh, thank you so much, Christina. Oh, thank you for having me. Where Kim. can Always we catch a pleasure. you? Uh, so Animal Kingdom starts airing on TNT uh, June tw uh, 14th now. They pushed our air date, so you'll get to see both episodes one and two uh, June 14th on TNT. All right. Check her out there, and thank you so much for joining us again, audience. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.